Reef DPM is here with the magnesium sulfur test. It's a test that I like to do weekly just to monitor the parameters in the tank. A simple test that comes with uh, only the things that you see here. Um, not a lot of equipment needed or a lot of time taken to do the test. So you're going to start with the bigger syringe. Take a sample of your water from your tank. We're going to put that into the test vial. That's actually two mLs of your tank water. You want to make sure that the syringe plunger is at the two mL line. Don't worry about the bubble. After that, they've labeled them nicely in order. We're going to add magnesium one. So when we add this, we want to be sure that we're holding our dropper as straight up and down as possible. Add five drops. Then we're going to have to swirl it gently for about 30 seconds just to make sure everything is mixed and uh, ready to go. Then we go on to magnesium two. They give you a nice little measuring spoon here that you're going to want to fill just to the top, make it a level spoonful of your magnesium two powder. This magnesium two powder is going to actually turn your sample a very pretty pink. We're going to have to swirl that for about 10 seconds and make sure that all of the sample is actually dissolved. You don't want any of the crystals still in your sample when you go to the next step. So after that, we're going to put in magnesium three. And for magnesium three, they give us this uh, special calibrated one ml syringe with a very uh, fine pink tip that you want to put on. And you only have to do that the first time. Then you're going to fill up your syringe with the magnesium three solution. Fill it all the way up to, so you get one full ml in your syringe and be sure that you leave that air bubble at the top. After that, we're going to add it to our sample. We want again, be sure to hold our syringe as straight up and down as possible to get the most even drops out as we can. And as you go, you add dropwise to your container, shaking it for a couple seconds in between each drop to make sure everything gets mixed up. And you just keep going until your sample actually turns blue. This can, uh, you know, you just keep going. It takes a little while. You're going to start seeing a purple though when you're getting close to the end. See, it's turning a darker purple. You're going to have to only add a couple more drops and then it will turn a very nice shade of blue. That's when you stop and see it's getting dark here. It's probably going to be our last drop. Shake it up and there you go. Now it's blue. We're going to take our syringe, flip it over and read the amount of magnesium three reagent that's still in our tube here. And it's hard to read, but we have 0 0.06 mLs left in the syringe. Go over to the chart they provided with the directions, and you can see that equates to a magnesium level of 1,410. That's right in the range that you want from 1,300 to 1,500, which is normal seawater. So our tank is doing great. We're just going to keep running this and uh, hopefully keep providing you with help videos like this to uh, keep our tanks all running well.